did I get a new fucking ring light? <laughs> Fuck is this? <laughs> nah, peach shirt though. Then I shan. Good little Missy Misdemeanor Elliot on my body. Tap it on my friend at X Clothing. Peep the X on the back. That shit so hard. It is. I shan. Yeah. Tap in with my friend X Clothing and get y'all some cool ass uh, graphic shirts with your favorite artists on it. Uh, uh <laughs> shout out, shout out, shout out Nick and Carla for always reacting to my story time. Nick and Carla be reacting to my story times tight shit in yeah, saying I fuck with them cute little couple, cute little vibe. Tap in with Nick and Carla. Uh, I'm gonna tag them in the pen comment below. But let me let me tell y'all something, Nick and Carla. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. My smoke is not with Nick and Carla. I love Nick and Carla like they my motherfucking sisters. I love them, period. My smoke not with y'all. My smoke is with if one of y'all goddamn subscribers because this was the only bitch that really stood out to me because I realized the bitch such a fan. She be commenting on my shit too. Ian saying, Nick and Carla, let me tell y'all, right? So, Nick and Carla recently reacted to one of my fucking videos. And I, you know, it's so cute. It was a little vibe. I'm sitting there. I'm looking at them. They looking at me. I'm like, okay, cool. Cute little couple. I'm scrolling, reading the comments. I get the one comment. Can't I can't tell if the bitch is fucking 42 or 72 with your old ass, your burnt tootsie roll looking ass, somebody old ass fucking grandma, or even a fucking mom. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? The bitch look old and young at the same time. Bitch, if you stop hating on the internet and you let all that shadiness out your goddamn heart and all that fucking animosity, then bitch, you, you wouldn't be looking like the fucking crypt keeper. Fuck wrong with your grim reaper looking ass bitch. I was on Nick and Carla channel. <laughs> I was on Nick and Carla channel enjoying my fucking time because they so fucking cool i'm sitting there scrolling watching them talking shit react to me i'm scrolling through the comments and some bitch gonna leave a comment talking about something is that a wig on taco head bitch if my dyke ass brought a wig do you think i would buy a wig this short you dumb broad <laughs> bitch do it look like i'm dumb like <laughs> what are you what are you like bitch you trying to be funny so you know for a good little minute i was gonna let it slide but the demon in me, the dark side of me, you know what I'm saying? Because, I'm, I'm, you know, you gotta, it's, it's about duality, bitch. You gotta be able to balance your light side and your dark side. The dark side of me started coming out. And I said, say something back to this bitch. Don't like, I'm pussy. Yeah, <laughs> I'm pussy, bitch. You, you tripping. So I clicked on the bitch channel. And like always, y'all, y'all know I told y'all it's a new update on YouTube where if you click on somebody's channel, you can see if they interacted with you before. Like always, I click on the bitch channel. Of course, the bitch is my biggest fan and my biggest hater at the same fucking time. Because the bitch done commented on like five other of my personal YouTube videos, not just Nick and Carla, but the bitch be on my channel too talking shit. Bitch, do you want to suck the dick or choke on it? Because baby, you struggling and I promise I will help your old ass out once you take them dentures out your mouth. Talking about, is that a wig on Taco's head? Bitch, no, but your old ass need a wig. Fuck wrong you. Rotisserie chicken looking ass. <laughs> I click, y'all, hey, I clicked on this bitch. Look, look, hold on, hold on. Before I, before I start doing too much, I'm a black woman. <laughs> I'm a black woman. At the end of the day, I'm a black woman. Yeah, you know I'm saying I'm not sitting here being colorist. I, I would never in my goddamn life do that shit. Bitch, one thing about me, two things for sure. If you talk shit, bitch, you better be prepared for what the fuck I'ma say back to you, bitch. Bitch, you look like a fucking barbecue rib. You fucking punk ass black bitch. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Man, that hoe would try me. So what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? I'm not. You thought I wasn't gonna say nothing back, bitch. I don't got no more grandparents left, bitch. So the little bit of sanity and the little bit of fucking love and compassion I did have, bitch, that shit out the window, ho. Fuck you talking about that shit left when my granny just recently left me. Bitch, don't play with me. <laughs> bitch, you look like a fucking barbecue tire. And I don't know what the fuck that look like. Fuck wrong with you, bitch. I'm talking about, is that a wig on Taco Head? Bitch, you need a wig. Them ragged ass goddamn cornrows, bitch. Them the cornrows Jeepers Creepers had in his head when he pulled that fucking cap off. <laughs> on the internet hating. That's why you look old and young at the same time. You got all that fucking, all that hatred built up in your clogged artery ass heart, bitch. You worry about me. I just had to get that out real quick. Man, fuck, look, look, bro. <laughs> look, bro, let, let me, let me plead my case. Folks be playing, I don't like how bright I am right now. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, let me get right. Hold on. That's it. I like that. Damn, I look. God damn. <laughs> bitch, nah, real shit, real shit. I don't like when folks be playing with me like I won't say something bad. Bitch, I am not one of them. Crazy. You know what I'm saying? I have a million and one haters, just like I have a million and one supporters. You know what I'm saying? And of course, I'm going to always pay more attention to the love than the hate. You know what I'm saying? Because if I gave all my attention to hate, 
I would be ugly just like y'all. I would be broke just like y'all. I would hate myself just like y'all. You know what I'm saying? But it's always going to be that one time where I just have to let... Yeah. <laughs> it's just going to be that one time where I just got to let it out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you can't have all that all that animosity sitting up in you. Sometimes you got to let it out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And that bitch, just, she just so happened to be the lucky winner. Fuck you. <laughs> she just so happened to be the fucking victim. You know what I'm saying? Like, somebody's out a wig. Bitch, you trying to be funny. You old as fuck hating on my young friend. Come on now. You a hater, ho. You're weird. <laughs> Why you being weird to me? I'm just so Nick and Carla little shit trying to got down. You know, you know what I'm saying? We all on there vibing, have a good time. Nick laughing, Carla laughing, and here your hating ass go. Hey. <laughs>
you just asked me if I could come meet up with you in another part of Florida when I'm down here for a fucking funeral. Are you fucking insane? You gotta be. You gotta be crazy in the head. Crazy. You gotta be fucking bananas in the head. Do y'all know how that, that, like, I don't know if that's like something to y'all that y'all would make a big deal out of, but to me, that was a big deal. You calling me, you come to me on the day of my grandmother's funeral to ask me for 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 a meetup yeah i'm saying you're tripping <laughs> you tripped out shot it hell no even if i wasn't down here for a funeral even if i wasn't down here for a funeral even if i was just in florida just to be back home type shit even if i was just down there chilling just to be back home on some like turn up shit i'm not coming to meet a stranger on the internet in another part of florida i wouldn't even meet a stranger in another part of atlanta off the yeah you know i'm saying like like i explained to them on my podcast it's certain people that I have had interactions with for me to just go out and hang out with them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have associates on Instagram or associates on Twitter, and we interact so much to the point where it's like, if you ever in Atlanta or if I'm ever in your city, I'll let you know and we can link up because we've interacted before. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is, the, this is the fucking interaction we've had. You know what I'm saying? But, like, for you to just be a complete stranger and you message me, on the day of my grandma's funeral and you say i'm in another part of florida can we meet up while you're down here you don't know me you can meet me and i and i could take advantage of you i could do some strange things to you i'm little but i'm fucking insane do you get what i'm saying do you hear me stop playing with, stop trying to meet people y'all don't know me <laughs> i cannot stress this enough i cannot stress this enough i'm doing this to save y'all <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm telling you this to save you. You don't fucking know me. You know what I'm saying? I'm crazy. Literally. <laughs> look, look at me. You can tell. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. Like, not nah, real shit. Not even just me, though. Anybody. Don't do that shit with people. Y'all don't know these people on the internet. People are fucking crazy. You can see somebody on the internet. Y'all y'all know how they be saying, like, y'all be so in love with, like, these Instagram niggas and these Instagram bitches just to meet in person. And they mattresses on the flow. And they got roaches running around their house. And they be murderers and they be rapists. No, real shit. Real shit. People will show you a certain lifestyle on the internet. That don't mean they just like that in person. Stop trying to meet up with people on the internet. Especially me. Because it's not going to happen. We're not linking. <laughs> Fuck you talking about. We not linking. I like. The first post was like, have you ever hung out with somebody? Oh my God. This is literally <sighs> having an epiphany. The, the first post was like, have you ever like linked with somebody or chill like like i said not verbatim but the post was like have you ever linked with somebody or chill with somebody and you could just tell they did like an extensive deep dive on your social media just so they could like like morph and like create a personality for you y'all get what i'm saying like you ever you ever hung out with somebody and you could tell they was trying to talk about stuff or be a certain way because they know that's what you like that's fucking terrifying that that's that's like a lizard person because like why are you trying to be something that you're not just to impress me that's scary that's giving like that's like giving like a lifetime movie like on some sociopath shit like when people like i don't even think you would call that a sociopath i don't even think that's a what's what is the term <laughs> look now now we gotta get what now we gotta get a little deep what would you call these people like people who create personalities for like a crush or somebody that they want to be close with what would you call those people what is that is that like is that like a, a mental disorder type thing like like, y'all ever hung around? Like, <laughs> I'm really trying to stress this shit because I've ran into so many women like this, especially being, like, on YouTube and, like, having a platform. Bitches will get to talking to me or get around me, and I realize they talking about shit that I've, I've even talked about in story times or I posted about on Instagram or, like, just they heard it on my podcast, and it's the scariest shit ever because I be sitting there like, this is not, this is not your personality. This is my personality. It's like you trying me on to like reel me in you know what i'm saying that's terrifying have you ever been around somebody like they're attracted to you like a moth to a flame like they know it's something like magical about you and it's something like just out of this world about you but they only around because they want to like they kind of want to like debunk it or like like tell you like no it's not that it's not you know what i'm saying like I'm just gonna put the fucking <laughs> I'm just gonna put the fucking post right here so y'all can get what I'm saying. Like, have you ever have you ever hung around somebody you could tell that they were attracted to the light that you give off or like they're attracted to like your aura or your personality as a whole, but 
they come around you just to be negative and just to tell you like you're not even all that or that wasn't even funny or this isn't even something that you should be into or you shouldn't do you know what i'm saying you ever hung around somebody obviously they look up to you like they see you as like a a fucking moth to a flame literally what the post said it's like like people will be attracted to your light but they only attracted to your light because they want to dim it you get what i'm saying like they see how other people are attracted to you and even themselves they see like damn i'm attracted to this person like it's something about this person just to get around you just to like kind of downplay and like water down what the fuck you are or what the fuck you got going on or what you doing yeah i don't like shit like that neither because why are you coming around me just to hate you know what i'm saying especially like if i let you into my circle that's 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 crazy to me you know what i'm saying that's something that's real sacred to me because i just don't be hanging out with every fucking body so the fact that i let you into my circle just for you to be a hater on the inside how you hate from outside the club you can't even get in in my chris brown voice you know what i'm saying like that's crazy it was this one young woman and me and her were basically mutuals on fucking instagram you know what i'm saying we was cool on instagram and like always like I always say, people portray a certain image on the internet because that's what they want you to think of them. You get what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people are are on social media to reel in certain people because they want you they want you to come on a, on a page and be like, oh my God, he got money. Oh my God, she got a fat ass. Oh my God, he a DJ. Oh my God, she a bartender. Oh my God, she's so cool. Oh my God, he's so fine. You know what I'm saying? Like, they want you to see that side of them. Nobody gonna put on social media that they struggling or that they're fucking insane or that they be raping and killing people. Nobody gonna put that on social media. Nobody gonna put on social media that they be robbing people and they be doing kick those and they be setting men up and drugging men and then taking their money and they be out here dropping pills and women drinks. They're not going to put that on social media. You know what I'm saying? They're going to put on social media what can reel you in to get you to that point. You know what I'm saying? So, it is one mutual. You know what I'm saying? Um, I already knew of this girl because me and her had other people in common. So, I already knew of her. I would see her at events when I would be out at these events. And the events would be like LGBT type shit. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I would see her at Pride. Or I would see her, like, at a lesbian bar or a lesbian club. I would see her at, like, fucking kickbacks thrown by, like, lesbian promoters and lesbian hosts. The girl was always around. You know what I'm saying? She was always in the mix. I will always see her, you know what I'm saying? So I already knew what she was like in person. I already, I didn't know what she was like in person, but I already kind of had a feel and an, and an idea of what she looked like in person, you know what I'm saying? So like, it wasn't nothing crazy. It wasn't like you ever like see somebody on social media and then you meet them in person and they're like either bigger or smaller or, you know what I'm saying? They're like, they look more aggressive in person or like more soft. And, you know what I'm saying? I already had a visual of what this motherfucker looked like. So it's kind of like, it's not like I'm meeting up with a complete stranger. Like, I could pick the bitch out of the crowd if I needed to. You know what I'm saying? Like, if the bitch would have robbed me blind. <laughs> and, and then I would have had to go and, like, pick her out of the crowd. I could do that. You know what I'm saying? So, I already had a visual of what this young woman looked like. I just didn't know her as a person person. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, it's one day I'm on Instagram. I'm doing my thing. Uh, uh, uh. I think I had just posted a new video, too. So, okay. Uh, you know when I post a new video and y'all get to tagging me on Instagram. Oh, I'm watching Taco. Oh, Taco. Oh, Taco, Taco. You know what I'm saying? Y'all reposting it. I'm reposting on my story. Like, new video. Woo, 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 woo. Okay. It was on some shit like that, right? I had just posted a new video. So, everybody interacting with it. Everybody turned up. I'm turned up. Uh, uh, uh. The bitch DM me, right? And she was like, I don't know how much longer I have to watch your YouTube channel, but I want to be your friend. Just straightforward. Just straight to the point. Just uh, uh, uh. Ain't playing no games. Like, bitch, that's what it is. I put it on the table. Either take it or leave it. My dumb ass took it. <laughs> My dumb ass took it. I took the bait. Fuck you. <laughs> I ate the bait. I took it. You know what I'm saying? I said, oh, fuck. All right, so, I don't know. I think I just like the way that she, I think I like the way that she was so straightforward with it. You know what I'm saying? Because, like. I don't like when people come in my DMs playing. Or I don't like when people just come to me in person playing. What do you want? You know what I'm saying? Like, get down to it. You want to fuck? You're not going to. <laughs> you want me to fuck you? I'm not going to. You want some money? You're not getting that, of course. Especially. <laughs> Especially not getting that. Fuck you talking about. Like, what do you want? You want to use me for clout? That's dumb. I'm a fucking nobody. <laughs> Nobody fucking cares about Taco, bitch. Oh, she do YouTube. Who the fuck care, bitch? I'm not Beyonce. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, I just love when people are like just fucking straightforward but at the same time I don't like when people are straightforward because I have another story time for y'all real quick one girl I hope she watches this video <laughs> I hope you watch this video so you can know you <laughs> fuck no one girl DM me right she talking about some you little shithead I wanna fuck you so bad <sighs> are you new here like <laughs> what 
she called me a little shit. Y'all, I put this on mommies, nigga. I put this on my life, on my ancestors. This bitch DM'd me and said, you little shithead, I want to fuck you so bad. But I know it's probably not going to happen. And then, like, a bunch of other bullshit and something else. And I was just like, I couldn't even get past the little shithead part. Why you calling me a shithead? You thought that was the one, huh? You thought you ate. Give me that fucking play. <laughs> You thought that was the one, huh? You thought you was pushing P. You weren't, you weren't, bitch. You was pushing L for lame. <laughs> Loser. <laughs> Llama. Looking at it like, I said, bruh, if you don't get your, I hate shit like that. Why do you, like, I, I, listen, if you and my close friends, y'all, if you and my close friends on Instagram, y'all be seeing when I be posting, all my close friends consist of is me posting DMs, like the wildest DMs I ever get. That's all my close friends is. Because it's like, women, I feel like women talk so much shit about men just being horny and just being like crazy and acting like feral, nasty ass creatures. But I'm not gonna lie to y'all, women are the same way. I have some DMs from women that will make you sit back and think like, is this a man playing behind a woman's account just to get my attention? You know what I'm saying? Like bitches be saying some wild shit. They be sending some wild shit. You know what I'm saying? I got fucking all types of body parts in my dms i got crazy it, it's just insane and i just be like what would even possess you you know what i'm saying like 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 i said like i like when people get straight to the point but you can get straight to the point and still respect yourself and especially respect me as a fucking person because that's all i am like you coming up in this motherfucker like i'm michael jackson don't do that shit that shit weird to me you're not gonna get my attention like that oh you oh oh i want to eat your pussy from the back it ain't gonna happen. What the fuck? <laughs> you telling me like it's gonna happen. I don't give a fuck. Like, you think I'm a slut? Like, I, bro, I, I asked him that on my podcast. I said, I said, y'all, is my page giving like prostitute? Is it giving like escort? Is it giving like hoe? Because why am I getting so many wild ass DMs? Like, I wanna do this, I wanna do that. I, okay. No, you gonna have to do it in your dreams, bitch. Cause it ain't happening in the real world. Fuck you, son. Anyway, um, uh, the little bitch came on my DM straightforward, just straight to it. Um, uh, I'm tired of watching your YouTube. I want to be your friend in real life type shit. Okay, cool. I like that. I like that you just came and told me straight up like what you want. Because it's up to me. Either I say no or I say yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, so I came in my shit straight up. Just, uh, push P like fuck. I said, okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? Because like, I liked her approach. I like her like, it's calm. It was just like, I want to be your friend. So like, what's up? Okay, cool. I like that. I like that approach. Because like, that's all I be fucking wanting sometimes. It's just a fucking friend. Fuck no. Bitches want to come in straight off the bat. I want to eat your pussy off the bone like it's a neck bone or a fucking oxtail. I want to fucking put your toes in my mouth and I want to play with my nipple. Just crazy shit. I want to pour orange juice on your belly button, slurp it out with a straw, then spit it in your mouth. You're wilding. <laughs> You're wilding, but tell me more. <laughs> Not just playing. Not for real, though. Like, it just be some wild shit. I hate that. Why are y'all approaching people? Who taught y'all to approach people like that? That's crazy. That's crazy because I be in Chloe Bailey DMs. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't count. Fuck you. <laughs> I don't count. I'm I'm not in that genre. I'm not in that genre of bitches. Fuck you to mess. <laughs> she told me straight up off the bat, like, I'm tired of watching you on YouTube. I want to be your friend. Okay, cool. So from there, we had a little conversation on on instagram you know what i'm saying i'm telling her how like i always see you at like all these events so why you never say nothing to me like why you never like say nothing in person type shit bitch come to find out I i'm skipping to the end of the story time but i kind of feel like she never said nothing in person because the bitch was honestly probably still trying to fucking put together a personality that she could use to reel me in but anyway i'm gonna get to that so i'm asking her like how come if i see you at all these events and we always like make eye contact you never said nothing in person or, like, we've been following each other for so long on social media. Why are you just now saying something? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's so scary. Let me tell you, that's so scary that people will follow you and people will know of you for so long. But it's like they building up a case. Yeah. <laughs> is, that, is, that, is that the word I want? Is that the phrase I want to use? People will follow you for fucking months on end. People are psychotic. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck if you sitting here like, no, people don't do shit me. <laughs> people are crazy. Y'all know people are crazy. You watching this right now, I guarantee there's somebody out here who is obsessed with you. I guarantee it. People are crazy. Especially now, since we have social media in this day and age, it gives you so much more of an insight into people's like personal fucking lives. We know so much about people that we should not fucking know. So that is just adding on to the obsession that they already probably fucking formed for you. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like people will literally follow you for months or for years on end 
and just watch you grow and watch you become the person that you're becoming before they make their fucking move. You know what I'm saying? The fucking other story time. The other story time about the bitch who I thought was a prostitute. She was one of them people. Y'all remember how I told y'all? <laughs> y'all remember how I told y'all? She followed me for maybe since like maybe fucking 2017, 2018. And she would always message me and go missing. You know what I'm saying? Like she would always hit me up like, I want to hang out with you. I want to get to know you. And then she would just go missing. Y'all remember? She's one of those. Oh my. <laughs> I just fucking had a self-realization. People are crazy, bro. I don't give a fuck what I say. I am living proof. <laughs> Literally, I'm living proof that people are crazy. But no, like. I just had self-realization that she was one of those people. You know what I'm saying? Like, the bitch literally followed me for fucking years. This bitch had to been following me since I had my hair cut. Like, a low fucking cut. She did. Because I remember her telling me, like, I was so sad when you cut off your first set of locks. Bitch, you've been watching me that long. You know what I'm saying? Just for me to finally get in person with you. And you're fucking insane. And you playing all these weird ass games. And you got me at your house. Your house nasty. You doing all... You know what I'm saying? She was one of the fucking people. So anyway, this young woman I'm telling y'all about now, she was also one of those fucking people. Okay, cool. So Somebody um, sets their fucking intentions and sets their mind to getting you. That they not gonna stop until they get you. You know what I'm saying? People are obsessive like this. And you don't have to be fucking anybody. You could be a, a regular schmegular everyday person. Just because somebody sees you on the internet, they probably look at you like, oh my god, I need this person in my life. And they will do anything to get to that fucking point. You know what I'm saying? So um one of our first times linking up was at a fucking hookah spot. Y'all already know I always tell y'all every YouTube video I love hookah. I pull up first, I'm there before her, so I just go in, I grab us a little fucking section, little table. I start ordering hookah. I sent her a picture of the menu, like, these are the flavors, what flavor. She picked her flavor. Then maybe, like, five, ten minutes later, she finally come through the door. So she get in there. Uh, she sit down at the table with me. We just interacting. We talking a little bit. And I'm asking her, like, questions. Because, like, I don't know, like, when, when people come to me and they... Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna tell y'all some shit. Look, what, what Lil Dark said, I don't, I don't like no hoe that's no fan of me. On God. I... <laughs> on god i don't like no hoe that's no fan of me i don't like that because like that means you watch me that means you gonna sit here and just always want to talk about that or always bring it up or what about youtube or what about this and that story time y'all it is so much more to me than just this youtube shit you know what i'm saying like i am so much more than just this you know what i'm saying like I, and then it, it just be blowing my mind that people meet me in person and expect me to act like this in person in public well, bitch, I'm not no goddamn circus animal. I'm not no goddamn clown, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, first of all, I'm irritated that I woke up this morning. I <laughs> had other plans. You know what I'm saying? I'm irritated that I woke up. I'm irritated that I have to be in public dealing with other people. And now I'm especially irritated because you think I'm going to come in a public sitting area and act how I act on YouTube? You know what I'm saying? That's insane. That's crazy. What you want me in here? Cursing? Turned up? Acting belligerent? Act just wild and out? Saying what I say on YouTube? For what? It, it don't call for that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, when I'm on YouTube, I'm having fun with myself. <laughs> when, when I'm recording, I'm interacting with myself. I'm looking at myself. I'm making myself laugh. And of course, y'all who are watching, I'm having fun on here. But like, when I'm in person, like, I'm fucking paranoid. I think somebody gonna always fucking set me up or do something strange. People are crazy. I'm crazy, so I don't think everybody is a human. So I really be sitting there just watching people. Because you never fucking know these days. I be watching, making sure I'm not in the middle of a mass shooting. Fuck you. I just be watching. Like, of course I'm not going to come in person turned up. Hey, hey. Um, what? For what? Like, it's annoying out here dealing with y'all niggas. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, um, we at the table. We just interacting. I do not like no bitch that's no fan of me. I don't like that. I love, let me tell y'all what I love. I love when a girl, fuck, I can't tell y'all that because then y'all gonna start doing it. <laughs> I can't tell y'all that. Y'all gonna start doing that. Ugly. I love when a girl come to me and she be like, oh my God, I think you're so cute. Okay, cool. And then we get to interacting. And then like, I tell her like, oh yeah, I do YouTube. And she be like, yeah, I, I like watch one of your videos, but I didn't finish it. I love that. <laughs> I love it. It made me so happy. Nah, my bitch right now, the fucking girl I talk to now, she did that shit. I said, oh, you, oh, you think I'm a nobody? Oh my God. <laughs> I don't like when no hoe is no fan of me. I don't like that. Cause what I'm gonna do with that? Like, <laughs> what am I, because now you expected the most from me. And then when I don't meet those expectations, you telling everybody I'm fucking lame or I'm not funny in person. Yeah, fuck no. <laughs> Because I know I'm funny. I just make all the jokes to myself personally. Of course, I'm not going to tell you all my material. Fuck, fuck out of here. <laughs> they sit down at the table. 
we get to talking a little bit. We just interacting. She's telling me like, yeah, you know, I don't know. I just never wanted to say nothing to you because like, I don't know. You just look real unapproachable. And every time you was out, you was always like with somebody else. And I didn't, I wasn't too sure if that was your girl or like if you even wanted to be like bothered or approached or if you even felt like mingling type shit. Okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. I understand that because like, if I see a girl out and I'm interested in her, if I see her with another girl, I'm not going to approach her. Because, like like she said, I don't know if that's your bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what the fuck y'all got going on. Or even if I see a bitch, I got a, a resting bitch face. I'm not going to say none of you. Because I'll be damn, a bitch turned me down. Now I'm in the middle of the club crying. Yeah, no. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we start talking about, like, hobbies and shit. And, like, just, like, little shit. Like, what do you like? Like, what are you into? If you know me, you know what I'm saying? If you know me, you know what I'm into. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm into. Because I tell people all the time, like, I want to talk about this. I want to talk about that. Have y'all heard about this? Have y'all heard? You know what I'm into, you know what I'm saying? So we sit in there. And of course, people can have the same interests. But once it gets down to, like, you're saying every single fucking thing that I'm into, now I'm sitting here thinking, like, are you really into that? Or are you saying that? Because, you know, that's what I like. She go first. She was like, yeah, I like the paint cool me too like what the fuck that's that's amazing i love artistic people that's fucking beautiful that's so fun you know what i'm saying okay cool i like to paint okay and i like to read okay me too what like what you like to read i like to read stuff about like unsolved mysteries and unsolved deaths and unsolved disappearances that's so crazy me too that's like literally my favorite genre like i would sit on youtube and watch unsolved mysteries unsolved disappearances unsolved literally like the bitch is telling me this shit verbatim and i'm just sitting there like that's so crazy me too huh. yeah i'm saying huh <laughs> are you new here <laughs> i'm sitting there like are you new here what the fuck or like did you already already know this like what the fuck i like reading shit about unsolved disappearances, unsolved deaths okay cool me too um i like thrifting i love thrift stores because like i just like clothes like that nobody else got I love, like, dressing different. I don't like having on the same shit that somebody else got. Okay. <laughs> Starting to sound a little familiar. Fuck you to me. I'm like, okay. I've heard I've heard this before. Where have I heard this before? It's stupid ass. Um, and, like, I used to I used to be into sports, but I'm not really big on sports no more. Okay, so what did you, like, did you play anything? Uh, I used to, I used to skateboard a little bit. I can't skateboard that well, but I did like used to get on a skateboard and I can ride a skateboard, but I can't do no tricks. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Cause I used to be a little Tony Hawk bitch. So I'm just sitting there like, okay, like, okay. Like when she said that, I was just like, okay, whatever. Cause like, I know a lot of people who can, who can hop on a fucking skateboard and go. I know a lot of people like that. So that like when she said that, it kind of threw me off a little bit because I'm just like, okay, anybody can like skateboarding. Okay, cool. She was like, um, I like tattoos. I like piercings. Okay, a lot of people do. Same. A lot of fucking people do. You know what I'm saying? Like, now that she's... Now she's telling me stuff, and now I'm just trying to, like... I'm trying to pick out, like, the differences and shit. Because, like... Like, yes, you're telling me shit that I also like, but at the same time, like I said, a lot of people can like this shit. Like, this is not no fucking underground, unknown shit. A lot of people like thrifting. A lot of people like skateboards. A lot of people like tattoos and piercings and unsolved mysteries and unsolved dis. A lot of people, you know what I'm saying? A lot of, yeah, hiccups. A lot of people like that shit. Now I was like, okay, cool. I was like, um, like, what type of music you like? Or like, like, what do you listen to? Or what do you watch? And she was like, okay, like, I love horror movies. Like, I, all I ever want to watch is scary movies. I like horror movies. Okay. Yeah, saying y'all already know. You already know. I will wake up in the morning and turn on a fucking horror movie. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck if it's six a.m. We and this bitch watching Sinister. Fuck you. <laughs> I don't give a fuck if it's seven a.m. on a fucking Monday. Turn on Freddy versus Jason. Yeah, saying I love scary movies. I would literally die if I don't watch a scary movie once a day. I love scary movies. Okay, cool. Everybody do. You know what I'm saying? I'm literally sitting here trying to get like yeah, saying y'all notice. <laughs> y'all notice about me like. Before I just jump into the conclusion of thinking, like, this bitch crazy, this bitch insane, this bitch psychotic. I be trying to hear people out and give people the benefit of the doubt. But then it get it start getting to the point where, like, my fucking nigga senses get to tingling. And I be like, you crazy. You know what I'm saying? So keep fucking talking. And everything that she's saying somehow is relating back to me. And I'm sitting here like, do we really have this much in common? Or are you just a fucking stalker, bitch? I like scary movies. My favorite my favorite movies to watch are horror movies. I love horror movies. I don't want to watch shit else but a horror movie. Okay, cool. Um, my favorite rappers, I love Kanye West. I love X. X. X who, bitch? XXX Tatasia or DMX? You're like, be specific. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Be specific because, like, now that she said X, I'm going to ask your ass some questions. Don't play me like that. So when she said X, 
I was like, XXX and Tassian? She said, yeah, I love him. I was like, oh, me too. I was like, like what's your, like, what's your, like, top five? You know what I'm saying? I love hitting the hoe with that. Because, bitch, you don't know X like I know X. <laughs> I'm so sick. You don't know X like I know X. Bitch, don't play with me like that. So I asked her, I was like, what's, like, your top, like, like, what's, like, What's your go-to? Because my go-to is boy with the black eyes. That's my shit. That's my go-to. Boy with the black eyes, Vice City. I'm going to do some of his newer shit. Sad. I love sad. Fuck love, even though Trippy Red is on it. I love fuck love. But shit, like, what's your favorite song? This bitch can talk about some, oh, what's that one where he's like, heart eater. Why'd you eat my heart? <laughs> I'm sitting at the table like, it ain't no way this bitch is dead serious. I said, Heart Eater. She's like, yeah, I like that song. I was like, okay, yeah. I was like, it's, it's straight. Like, how the fuck? It, like, for all my ex people, how the fuck is your favorite song, Heart Eater? Did, were you not listening to him when he was alive? Like, Heart Eater? Like, come on, man. <laughs> come fucking on, man. <laughs> this is my favorite rapper. I said, me too. I love Kanye. I was like, I don't give a fuck what he say, what he do. I love Kanye. Yeah, y'all know this about me. I don't give a fuck. Kanye will always be my favorite rapper and it will not change. I don't give a fuck. Because I love how he is just himself no matter what. No matter who the fuck against him, no matter what the fuck he say, no matter how many people be like, he losing his mind, he crazy. He going through this, he going... I don't give a fuck. I relate to him so much because that is me. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what the fuck he say and no, no matter the way it rubs people he gonna stand and what the fuck he say he gonna stand in his authenticity i love that fucking nigga that's me bitch <laughs> that's my dad fuck you to me so um she gets saying kanye i was like yeah me too i love kanye and i noticed like every time she say something and i say it back like oh me too she just sit there like kind of like smirking and like nodding her head like as if i'm giving her like fucking approval like bitch did you you know what I'm saying bitch did you did you do homework on me bitch we sitting there, we just keep talking a little bit. So, on up, they finally bring a hookah out. The night proceed. We just sitting there a little bit more. We just talking. Right? I'm not even gonna cap to y'all. At this moment, I wasn't finding her, like, just fucking weird. I wasn't. I'm not even gonna lie. You not the only person in the world with the interest that you have. You get what I'm saying? There's a billion other people out in the world who love Kanye, who love X, who love horror movies, who love skateboarding, tattoos, piercings, unsolved mysteries. There's a billion other people out in the world just like that. So, I'm not sitting here, like... This bitch a weirdo. This holding dick. I'm not thinking that yet. Days progressed. Days passed by. She a cool little vibe. She was cool at the hookah spot, you know what I'm saying? So we ended up at another event, but we didn't come together. The event was being hosted by somebody we had in mutual. So I came to the event alone. She came to the event with her friends. Okay, cool. So she with her friends. She hanging out. Uh, I'm by myself. I'm hanging out. I'm like on my phone. I'm like making little Instagram videos and shit. Uh, uh, uh. Turned up music playing. Uh. She come over and she bring like two of her friends. She's like, hey, Taco, these are my friends. Woo woo and woo woo. I just want to introduce you. And I was like, hey, what's up? And I was like, hey. She was like, yeah, this is Taco, the YouTuber I was telling y'all about. <sighs> don't introduce me to people like that. <laughs> don't, 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 man. Don't. In my Bryson Tiller book, don't introduce me to people like that because like, what? <laughs> Bitch, you could have just said, this is Taco. Like, come on, man. All right. This is Taco, the YouTuber. Relax. <laughs> Relax, bitch. Now you're making me nervous. Bitches, bitches here, YouTuber, automatically think that means you a billionaire. Baby, I promise. <laughs> I, I want to be. I'm on the way, but I promise it ain't there yet. Fuck you talking about. People get crazy. Like, don't do that. So I'm standing there. And one girl was like, oh, this is Taco Taco. And she looked at her and she like laughed a little bit. She's like, yeah, that Taco. And I was like taco taco what because y'all already know hey look <laughs> y'all already know y'all already know i'm gonna say something one thing about me i'm gonna say it crazy y'all know they from jump so i was like taco taco what and she was like oh nothing i was telling them how like i just want to get more into like my spiritual journey and i was telling them how like i be like looking at the little quotes and shit that you post on instagram and i said oh okay and that was it because like bitch what the fuck like let me tell y'all some shit Get into spirituality because that's something that you want to do. Don't get into spirituality because you see somebody else doing it. Or, like, don't look at other people for, like, fucking help and, like, fucking... You know what I'm saying? Don't follow somebody else's journey because nobody's journey is going to be the same. And that even goes for Christianity. That goes for every fucking belief and religion that there is. Don't follow somebody else thinking it's going to be the exact same. Everybody is different. You know what I'm saying? Like, eh, I see the little posts you be, you be, you be posting. Okay. And, like... 
because bitch you you giggling and shit what the fuck is funny though like ah, uh, y'all already know like what the fuck is you like what you what's funny though what's funny about that because i did i missed the joke are you new here i missed the joke you know what i'm saying like it what like what was there to get like now i'm sitting here feeling like i got tried bro hold on what was there to giggle about about that yeah you know saying like taco taco <laughs> yeah taco taco mm, what the fuck was funny though like and then you tell me like Oh, I'm just trying to get into spirituality and I'll be telling her about like the stuff that you post. Okay, but what's funny? <laughs> I'm one of them bitches. The fuck is you laughing at? I want to laugh too, bitch. Don't play with me because I will make us all in this motherfucker hysterically burst out laughing. Don't play with me. I will make you the butt of the joke, bitch. Cut it out. So anyway, she just stand over there. She talks to me a little bit longer. And then the conversation kind of, it kind of started switching to us talking about spirituality. You get what I'm saying? And this is where... This is where I'm going to tell y'all about that post where, like, you ever had somebody just in your life because they can tell it's something about you, but they really can't put their finger on it, but it's still drawing them to you. But at the same time that it's drawing them to you, they want to hate on you and, like, downplay it and, like, shit on it a little bit. We in the middle of a fucking kickback. You know what I'm saying? Talking about fucking crystals and sage and fucking ancestors. Literally in the middle of a fucking kickback. Like, do you know how dedicated i am to this shit i would tell a hoe <laughs> if a hoe acts i'm gonna tell a hoe don't play with me i'm not one of them i would let you know my beliefs i'm not ashamed bitch so we sitting there we talking and she was just like yeah you know i just want to get into more stuff i want to get some more crystals so i show her my wrist like first of all don't touch my wrist you know what i'm saying don't touch it just look so i'm showing <laughs> i'm showing her my wrist i'm showing her each like different like little crystals and little shits and i'm like this and that and that and this whoop 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 I shop at this one crystal store downtown Atlanta. It's called Crystal Blue. A stone that I'm really attracted to is Lapis Lazuli. It's a Sagittarius stone. It helps me feel grounded. Whenever I'm feeling lost, I love that bracelet. It's my favorite bracelet. I'm real into mood rings. I love mood rings. I'm telling this bitch all types of shit. Every time I tell this bitch something, she like fucking, her rebuttal, like her response is just like a, I don't think so. I don't know about that. I don't think I'm into that. I don't think that would be something I would do. I, I don't think you should do that. I don't think that works for you. I think you should try this. Baby, I'm not asking for your fucking advice. I'm not asking for your fucking opinion. The last thing I would ever do is ask a bitch for fucking advice on my life. The last thing I would ever do is take advice or take an opinion from a bitch that's not me. I don't give a fuck about you. I don't know you. Because, bitch, if you got it all figured out, how are we even standing right here right now in person having this conversation you wouldn't even be around motherfuckers like this you wouldn't even be in a vicinity like this if you had it all figured out you know what I'm saying you'd be somewhere on fucking Forbes under 30 list fuck out my face <laughs> you know what I'm saying like I don't like people like that like I didn't ask for your input but thanks what the fuck so I'm standing there I'm telling her I promise y'all every little thing I tell this bitch she just responds with no I think you're looking at it the wrong way Oh, you taught the ancestors? Oh, no. Oh, well, how do you know that you're not just schizophrenic? Oh, 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 you, oh, you, oh, you think you see things? How do you know it's just not the little floaty things in your eyes? Like, oh, oh, you, you take everything as a sign? Just because you saw a butterfly doesn't mean anything. It's springtime. I almost punched that bitch. <laughs> yeah don't don't y'all know i don't play about butterflies don't play with me when it comes to butterflies i am not one of them yeah the instagram post said butterfly tattoo having an asshole is <laughs> what the fuck you talking about is and i'm proud of it and i'm gonna get another one crazy i'm one of them i do not play when it comes to butterflies bitch everything is a sign i'm sorry that your life is so terrible and it's not on the track that you wanted to be on that you don't take everything as a sign like i do but baby maybe if you start you would feel a lot better mentally and fucking emotionally fuck out of here so we sitting there just going back and forth and she's like literally everything i tell her she's just telling me like oh no oh I, I don't think that would be for me i think if i saw dead people i think i would just lose my mind i think i would admit myself to a crazy house to a hospital why are you being negative though like, i don't like shit like that if somebody tell you what the fuck it is that's what the fuck it is for them you don't have to agree but also don't be negative bitch why you're a fucking negative Nancy? <laughs> you're not pushing P. You're pushing B for a bitch. Why are you, <laughs> why are you being so negative, bro? I hate negative B. Why are you being negative, bro? Like, <laughs> come on, man. This is not the time for this. The world's literally dying. You're negative as shit. Come on, bro. You're lame. <laughs> you're a loser. What the fuck? You pushing L for llama. <laughs> She's just sitting there like, oh no, I don't, I'm not into that. I don't think that would work for me. Okay, cool. It don't have to. It don't have to work for you because it worked for me. And I know it worked for me because look how far I've come. Fuck out of here. The more that we stand in the middle of this fucking kickback and we're just talking and going back and forth, I've come to realization that everything I tell this bitch, she's sort of just like 
belittling it and like telling me like the opposite of what the fuck I believe or what the fuck I've even seen or what the fuck I've even I even have proof of you get what I'm saying like she's sitting here like I don't think it's that I think it's just that this with you I don't think it's and it's so crazy to me because I'm standing here like before these two bitches just walked away you just introduced me to two bitches and you told them that you like the post that I be posting on my Instagram story and you want to get more into spirituality how come now that them two hoes is gone, now you sitting here, like, going back and forth with me, damn near trying to start a debate? Like, yeah, you know I'm saying, like, was you only on dick because them two hoes was around? Like, what are you, you know I'm saying, like, what are you doing? So, um, I tell her, and I was like, well, what I believe in, it don't have to be for you. That's okay. Everything is not for everybody. That was it. Like, I got quiet after that, and I started drinking my drink. And that bitch started, like, yeah, look. I seen this TikTok and it was like, you got to pay attention to the way people look at you. Oh my God. The way people look at you will tell you everything you need to know about that person. Because some people have, some people, people be sending the evil eye and they don't even know that, be, they, that they be sending the evil eye. And like with the evil eye, it, it can be something so simple. And like people will literally like have envy towards you just because like you enjoy it. It could be something as simple as making fucking mac and cheese. And somebody will like literally sit there and feel some sort of way towards you because like your mac and cheese not even all that. My mac and cheese better. People send it in the evil eye all the time and they don't even fucking realize it. That's why like when it comes to like social media and shit, you can't be post do what you want. But me personally, when it comes to social media, you cannot be posting all that I'm living like this. I got this type of car. I got this much money. People are fucking insane and people be hating. And like, I don't know about y'all, but I believe in spiritual attacks. I don't give a fuck. I feel like you can be under a spiritual attack from, from anybody. Anybody can send, especially like, I feel like I'm saying so much and a lot of people just not going to get it. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to say it anyway. Okay. So boom. If, okay. If anybody in general, even for Christians. Okay, cool. You know, like with Christians, y'all stay prayed up. Y'all pray to God. Y'all pray to Jesus. Y'all be wearing y'all crosses. Well, not all of y'all, a certain amount of y'all. Whatever you do, whatever your practice is to stay, to stay safe and stay close to God, or for people in my case, to stay safe and stay close to your ancestors. Whatever you do, whatever your practices is, you do that. You get what I'm saying? And behind you, you have like a lot of guardian angels or like you have a lot of spirits that protect you or you have a lot of ancestors that protect you. You have like a, a strong fucking spiritual team. You get what I'm saying? Or you have like a strong like background in like Christianity. So you got a lot of like prayer over you and a lot of protection over you. Okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? So if anything were to ever come your way in a sense of where like somebody was sending you a spiritual attack, it wouldn't necessarily affect you because you're so protected. But for people who don't really i'm not gonna say like they don't have it it's just some people who just don't really look at life that way or they don't take it that serious i keep doing that because the light fucking me up it's people who don't take it serious so like you know what i'm saying that's why you see a lot of people just going through do y'all do y'all have anybody like on y'all social media and it seemed like every fucking day they going through something those are the people i'm talking about <laughs> those are the people i'm talking about let me tell y'all i follow this one girl every day i watch this girl's story it's something wrong with her car every day I shit y'all not since I've been following this girl she's probably been in like seven car accidents what are you doing either you can't drive or you just under spiritual attack and and uh, many of y'all may not take it like that many of y'all are just probably like taco she probably just can't drive yes true but at the same time who are you dealing with it, it gotta be somebody you dealing with it gotta be somebody you crossed or it just gotta be the way that you're living that's causing you to keep having these types of accidents. You get what I'm saying? Because I'm the type of woman, I believe when you have a lot of accidents in life, you're not, you're not grounded or you're not like focused like you need to be. Did that make sense to y'all? I hope it makes sense. If it don't make sense, I don't give a fuck. It makes sense to me. I feel like a lot of accidents and a lot of shit go wrong in my life when I'm not grounded or when I'm not focused on what the fuck I need to be focused on. You get what I'm saying? When I'm just out here just like just being fucking negative. Or I'm out here and I'm just wilding out and I'm doing shit that I shouldn't be doing. Or I'm living life a way I shouldn't be living life. That's when I notice, like, a lot of shit just gets negative. You know what I'm saying? But then once you get back on track and you're doing what the fuck you need to do, everything is positive. Abundance is coming in. You're living life. You're flourishing. You're just lavish. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, I said all that to say. What the fuck am I talking about? I don't know. I said... <laughs> I I had I just got really still. I'm sorry, I had to get I had to get really still. Do y'all see how still I just got? That's crazy. So anyway, I said all that to say, um, a lot of people people will send evil eye 
and they won't even realize that they see they send an evil eye but i saw this tiktok and the tiktok was like you have to pay attention to the way that people stare at you or the way that people look at you just as a whole and that is so true because i've glanced over at some associates i've had in my life and they just had this certain look to them like like to be real they had a look like they was a fucking hater you know what i'm saying like it, it's people who like it's people who would look at you like oh my god like it's people who would look at you in awe like oh my god she's beautiful oh my god he's perfect oh my god you know what i'm saying and then there's people who would look at you like man that hoe ain't on shit man that hoe ain't talking about none that nigga ain't on shit you know what i'm saying you have to be able to like use discernment and tell the difference between the two because it's it's real life nigga it's, it's people out here who literally can send so much negativity your way just by looking at you a certain way people are very powerful and people don't realize this this is why i don't be fucking playing with a lot of people and this is why a lot of people don't play with me don't play with me because you don't know what the fuck i got going on or the fuck i can do to you just from like a fucking picture of you or just by knowing your name you get what i'm saying and that's why i'm so big on people not knowing my name everything has power everything holds power i don't give a fuck what you believe in that's what i believe in everything has power and everything holds power so that's why i'm just so like certain shit i'm just real private with certain shit i just don't tell people certain shit i just don't dabble in and then it's certain people i don't fuck with it's certain people i don't deal with it's certain people you know what i'm saying like it's certain shit that i just won't cross into you know what i'm saying just because that's my belief though you don't have to i don't know i don't know if y'all just heard like in the previous little rant i just had my neighbors was like knocking you know what i'm saying see shit like that i be taking shit like that as a sign because how come that knocking like that y'all heard that noise right if y'all ever hear all that that'd be my neighbors you know what i'm saying but like to hear that and i was talking about what the fuck i was talking about but now it's silent you know what i'm saying that's yeah <laughs> yeah come on man you know what i'm saying the girls that get it get it you know what i'm saying it's it's some stuff you just sometimes you gotta shut the fuck up and that was my sign to shut the fuck up all right so cool uh, let me get back into story time i fucked around i looked over at her after this long conversation of me explaining like i'm into this i'm into that but you don't have to do it this way you can do it that way or you can do whatever you want because you are your own person with your own free will i'm just gonna tell you what how i got into mine i like these type of crystals i like this store i like this sage i like this palo santo after all this after this long conversation just for her to stand there and be like no 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 i don't think it's that no i don't think it's this no i think you're just crazy no i just think you're mentally off no it might just be this no it might just be trauma no 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 okay so what what the fuck you know what i'm saying what the fuck was the point of you even asking you know what i'm saying like i stopped i just stopped talking i was like okay well you know what i'm saying so i ended up i getting back in my phone fucked around i glanced over a little bit looked at the dj looked at the party i drank took a sip of my drink i look over at her this bitch had like the nastiest fucking glare on her face like you ever catch somebody looking at you and as soon as you catch them they look away real quick before she looked away real quick the glare I'm talking about the glare was disgusting. Like the glare damn near like made me want to leave a fucking party. And I was just like, yeah, saying because like one thing about me, two things for sure, you're not going to beat my ass. I promise you not. Crazy. You know what I'm saying? But like to catch her looking at me like that, I was like, oh, you one of them. <laughs> you, 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 you suspicious, stupid ass. You one of them. You know what I'm saying? So from that night, I was just like, yeah, she's a weirdo. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's all it really took for me to realize you're fucking strange. You know what I'm saying? Like, not only did you come over, you came to me and asked me about the type of shit that I'm in. You asked me about my beliefs just to downplay it and try and water it down. Like, no, 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 no. And then once I finish, once I get to the point where I'm just like, I'm just not, I'm just going to shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Because like, you just got to know when to just stop dealing with people. Because like, it, like I said, the girls that get it, get it. You just got to know when to stop dealing with people. Because some people are so stuck in their nasty ass ways. That's why they life, that's why they life not elevating. Because you're stuck in your ways, bitch. I'm, I'm not going to help you elevate your life. You not my bitch and you not my family. You know what I'm saying? I'm leave it up to you. It was just like the fucking glare was so fucking like fucking sinister bitch <laughs> the the glare was malignant than the motherfucker i say that how evil me and this girl we was we was associates for maybe like a good like one to two months we was associates for a little bit we didn't hang out every day though but we did like we did talk every now and then whenever i was at an event she would be there or like whenever she was at the event she would hit me up like hey are you coming to this and I would just like pop out type shit. Not necessarily for her, but because like like I said, the person who were having these events, we had them in mutual. That was a mutual friend of ours. So it's more so like I'm here to support her, I'm not here for you, bitch. It just so happened that you're here. Or it just so happened that I'm here and now you're here type shit. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I started to notice like anytime I would post a story, she was like one of the first people in my views on Instagram. 
one of the first motherfuckers in my views she would just be there just um uh. like i could post like a picture of my toe she one of the first folks in my goddamn like how like do you have my post notification <laughs> yeah saying bitch you been a, i'm in that wham bam purple lamb damn bitch you been a fan in my nikki voice like i didn't take that as nothing because like I have like 70,000 followers. Okay, cool. Like whoever view my shit, you view it. But like, I'm talking about every time y'all, I would post something. She was like, um, she was there. Like she wouldn't miss a fucking beat. I was posting YouTube videos. She would hit me up about the YouTube video. Oh, well with this video, I just felt like it was just this with this person. With this video, I feel like it was just that with this person. I'm not asking. <sighs> what the fuck? Yeah, you know I'm saying? I'm not asking for your input. I'm not asking for... I don't give a fuck how you felt what it was like. I posted the video for my enjoyance and for my friends enjoying. I don't give a fuck about you. We on that whole vibe. <laughs> Me and my folks on that whole vibe. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Me and my folks on that whole vibe and we don't care about nobody like you, bitch. Laugh in the comments and go. What you talking about? She messaging me. I just felt like you should have did it like this. I should. I don't give a fuck how you felt. I should have did it, bitch. I don't give a fuck. I'm not posting for people like you. I'm not fuck out of here i don't know it just started like it started annoying me over time because i was just like this hoe is weird like you're being weird as fuck and like every time we would get in person or every time we would have like like just like the slightest most simplest fucking conversations she's like telling me like everything i would say she would say the opposite like i could be like man i fucking love five guys in a burger i think five guys in a burger is the best burger spot in the world no, I think you're mistaken. I think you should try McDonald's. I think you're only saying that because you haven't had McDonald's. Like, if I take you to McDonald's right now and I get you a quarter pounder, I promise you, you would change your opinion. Okay. Yeah, I'm saying, like, just hearing it after a while, it started becoming annoying because it's like, how come every time, <laughs> how come every time I come in the kitchen, you in the damn kitchen? Not for real. How come every time I have something to say, you telling me the opposite and you telling me what I, what you think I should do? Or, bitch, you was not no spiritual if I'm around. It was just one night and something told me to go on this bitch Instagram. So I'm on her Instagram, just looking through fucking, I'm looking through like her pictures and shit. I get down to like, like, maybe like, <sighs> 2020 yeah saying 2020 2021 i see somebody like in her comments like yeah i'll be watching this one chick on youtube she's hella funny you should check her out because she had like a she had like a video up of her like vlogging i guess in 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 the fucking comments it's like people having conversations she's having conversations back with these people like who's some youtubers i should check out or what's some type of content y'all want to see or like what type of tiktok things do y'all want me to do somebody left a comment was like is this one chick i watch on youtube you should check her out her name is taco present stupid ass you know hear me you know I so i saw that comment and like i said it had to be like fucking 2020 2021 me and this bitch just now, you know what I'm saying? This is recent, y'all. Me and this bitch just now, you know what I'm saying? Recent. So, I saw that comment, and I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> She's about to get me. <laughs> I saw that comment, and I don't know, something about that comment just made my stomach turn. Not the person commenting it, but the fact that I just went on her page just randomly. Like, spirit came over me. Still that. <laughs> you know how Christians love doing that shit. The Holy Ghost grabbed a hold of <laughs> The Holy Ghost grabbed a hold of me and he told me. That man ain't tell you nothing. <laughs> that man ain't talking to you, bitch. Be quiet. Nah, for real, for real, for real. Like, nah, something just came over me and was like, go on her page, bro. And when I, and, and y'all, specifically, the bitch got like 60 pictures. You mean to tell me out of those 60 pictures, I specifically got to that picture in those comments and I saw that comment that's crazy I told you I'm one of them people everything's a sign everything's a sign I don't give a fuck what y'all say everything's a sign it ain't no oh it was just it was just luck nah bitch ain't no luck with me ho I fuck no it it, it was meant to be it was meant to be seen fuck you talking about I saw that comment and my stomach started got damn you know what I'm saying <laughs> got the bubble guts dumb man I said oh my god I got a shit <laughs> Not for real. I said, oh my God, what the fuck? So I saw that comment. I was just like, okay, what the fuck? Because like, you know what I'm saying? Because like, I've come, across, I've come across a lot of shit where I see people like mentioning me like, oh, you should watch Taco. She's funny. Or, oh, follow Taco on Instagram. She take cute pictures. Oh, follow Taco on TikTok. She did this. Woo, woo, woo. I've come, I come across a lot of shit like that, but it's just the fact that I'm interacting with you as like an associate, as like a friend. And I see this comment 
And, like, on top of that, I already had such strange fucking, like, feelings about you because, like, you was just, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, I clicked on the link in her bio. It was a YouTube link. So, I clicked on that. The bitch had, like, two videos up, right? And the videos, like, both videos was, wasn't even, like, more than five minutes. But the videos was, like, older. You get what I'm saying? Now, mind y'all, I said, <laughs> y'all know that post and it was, like, when black people say mind y'all, when they telling the story time, they finna tie some shit together. <laughs> mind y'all. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> mind y'all no for real so look mind y'all i said the picture the picture that i saw this comment on had to be from like 2020 2021 back in the day you know what i'm saying this was this all was recent you know what i'm saying so uh 2020 21 so i click on the link in her bios a youtube link she had two videos up the videos is not more than five minutes like both of them not more than fucking five minutes the videos dated back as well to like 2021 you know what i'm saying like 2021 towards the end of 2021 you know what i'm saying and like from there she just didn't have no more content i watched it <laughs> because why not you clicked on the link you might as well click on a video i'm watching the video <sighs> let me tell y'all you ever just uh, come on come on come on because y'all y'all know y'all my folks i could be real with y'all y'all be real with me y'all be real with me i'll be real with y'all you ever just see somebody trying to act like you hold on hold on hear me out because y'all gonna be like man this bitch so full of herself no i'm not i promise i'm not i told y'all in one of my other videos i ain't full of nothing but gas and bubble tea <laughs> no for real look you ever interacted with somebody even if this is just a fucking best friend a bitch at work a bitch at school a bitch at your job a bitch at your OBGYN, fuck you to my you ever just enter even for my niggas y'all ever just interacted with somebody and you can see this motherfucker just like a little bit you know what i'm saying like you really can't you really can't say like they just overdoing it trying to be exactly like no nothing like that but do you ever see like certain traits of your personality in somebody else and you only see it because you know you know that this person has been around you or you know that this person I don't want to say like a fan of you, but you know that this person is fond of you in a way. You know what I'm saying? I like that word. <laughs> I like that word. I like that. That's a, that's a different word. You, I don't want to say like, like, you know that this person is on your dick. No, you know that you've been around this person. Y'all have hung out. So this person is fond of you. This person knows of you. Have you ever seen your traits in somebody else, but not too much? You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like, it's kind of like they want to do it, but they really can't get there yet. Or they want to do it, but they can't because they're not you. Fuck you, Tama. When I watch those YouTube videos, I shot put this on my fucking granny. No, <laughs> on me. <laughs> when I watch them YouTube videos, I said, this, this is me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sitting there watching them. Like I said, the comment on her page, mind y'all, <laughs> the comment on her page was like 2020, 2021. These videos on her channel was like, 2021 you know what i'm saying so the bitch had been what from 2020 to 2021 the person left that comment in 2020 the bitch posted these videos in 2021 put it together you know what the fuck i'm saying you've had time to watch me and study me i've been on youtube since what 20 i've been on youtube since a fucking wow bitch you know what i'm saying i've been on youtube watching these videos and like the mannerisms the fucking Oh, you already know what the fuck going on. The fucking, oh, uh, the, the outbursts, the fucking gestures, the fucking, the lingo even. Fuck you to my bitch. You trying to eat the lingo crazy, man. You cannot be like me crazy. I am not one of them. Stop it, dummy. I'm talking about all of it. I'm talking about the lingo, the mannerisms, the gestures, the facial expressions, the fucking outbursts, the fucking, the just manicness, the... I'm talking about like down to the T down there. Down to the T for taco. Stupid ass. I said, whoa, this me. <laughs> it's twin in them. Ah, good vibes only. Super good vibes. <laughs> I said, bitch, you want to be twin in them so bad. Ah, it's twin in them. Good motherfucking vibes only. Super good vibes only. Ah. Cut it out. Nah, I'm watching her channel. I said, this bitch is trying to be me. I don't give a fuck what y'all say. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck with y'all sitting here like, nah, Taco, you just, you you wildin'. Like, you trying to, trying to boost yourself up. I don't need to boost myself up. I'm already up there. <laughs> That's the problem. Fuck you talking about. I'm already up there. And obviously, this bitch thought the same because why you trying to be like me? Crazy. I'm talking about, I'm sitting there like, 
even like the intro, even like the randomness of the fucking intro where she just come on and she just talk, 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 talk. And she'd be like, hey man, say man, that's me. <laughs> Drake, Drake, he stole my whole fucking flow. Word for word, bar for bar. Fuck you to my- That's oh, soldier. shit. That's oh, my bar. Shit. He copied my oh, whole fucking shit. flow. That's kiss me through the phone. He copied my whole fucking flow. Oh, word for shit. word, bar for bar. Oh. That's me, bro. That's me. <laughs> I cannot stress this enough. That was me. It was like I was watching like a watered down version of me. I said, this is crazy. I said, you know what? Fuck it. I ain't say nothing. I ain't say nothing. I just like, I let some more days progress. I let some more weeks progress. We fuck around, hang out a little bit more at these functions. Every time we had a function, I'm just watching this bitch now. Anytime she asks me some shit, I'm not answering it. She get to talking about me. Oh, okay, so um, what you think about this? What you think I should do with this? I said, I don't know, bro. Do, do what you feel drawn to do. Fuck you, tell me, bitch. I'm, now I'm going to get your ass advice like I'm fucking Madam Cleo. <laughs> be, do do what spirit is drawing you to do. Fuck you, tell me. Don't listen to me, bitch, because you ain't going to do nothing but be like, no, actually, I'm going to do this. Okay, so we had these events. She just talking to me. What you think about this? You think these shoes look good? What about this? Where you got that shirt from? Oh, who do your who do your retwist? Oh, where you where you shop? What what thrift store you said you go to? Oh, okay. What's let me see your playlist? Can you send me your playlist? Oh, okay. Um, when was the last time you did this? When was the last time? How do you meditate? How do you do it? I'm literally like drying a bitch. Cause like now to the point where it's like I feel like you only asking me these questions because you want to belittle me as a fucking person and as a woman, you want to downplay all my shit, but at the same time you want to take it. Flipping and reverse it, word to miss it. Fuck you, Tamat. <laughs> you want to take it, flip it and reverse it, and make it your own and try it on for like fucking aesthetic. Like you trying to fucking be me or something? Yeah, bitch, I'm not going for it no more. Now nah, I'm a cut on the game, bitch. You biting the you biting the drip, crazy. You biting the tip, dumbass. I said nah. This bitch is insane. This is some psychotic shit. Fucking friendship comes to an end. Well, the the association. Fuck you, Tamat, because the bitch wasn't my friend. It comes to an end because like. It got to the point where she kept texting me nonstop. She was just texting me dumb shit. Like, she was sending me links to just crazy shit. Links to, like, spiritualists on TikTok. Links to spiritualists on Twitter. What do you think about this? What do you think about what they said in this video? God damn, ho, do you, do you like me or not? You know what I'm saying? Like, do you want to genuinely hear what I think? Or do you just want to hear what I think just so you can fucking make me feel dumb? Fuck you, tell me. You know what I'm saying? Like, it got to the point she just kept sending me shit. I text that bitch back. I said, look, I said, every time I'm around you, I don't, I don't feel good. <laughs> Told that bitch that shit straight up. I'm one of them. I listen to my fucking body senses. Cause one thing about me, my body never led me wrong. I told that bitch, I said, whenever I'm around you, I don't feel good. Like, I don't know what you doing, but like, I, I don't like it. It's like, not even like on no crazy shit, but I was on your page and I seen somebody mention me in one of your comments. And then I took it upon myself to go on your YouTube and I told the bitch straight up, I'm not gonna bite my tongue. You're not gonna, you're not gonna beat my ass. You're not gonna beat my ass. You're not gonna beat my ass. Fuck you, tell me. I told the bitch straight up. I said I clicked on your YouTube. Why are you on YouTube acting like me? This bitch just sent back hella laughing emojis. Hella laughing emojis. She's talking about some. Ain't nobody acting like you. Why you can't just take it as a compliment? Like why? Why you think I'm trying to act like you? Why? Why like? Like, that's just so, like, stuck up and, like, snobby of you to say I'm acting like you when you should really just take it as a compliment. Bitch, word to Drake. Imitation isn't flattery. It's just annoying me. Fuck you. Tell me. I don't find, like, when people try, I don't like that shit. That's not, that's not, that's not flattering, bitch. I'm not looking at, like, I'm not looking at it like, oh, my God, they're trying to be, the bitch trying to be like me, the bitch trying to be, I'm not one of them folks. Be yourself. <laughs> be yourself. I hate people like that. Be yourself. Why are you trying to be like somebody else? Why did that little cringy-ass white girl? Be yourself because everybody else is already taken. Stupid ass. Be yourself. Be yourself. That, that's strange to me. I don't like people like that. Why are you trying to try on somebody else's personality for show? That's strange. That's not weird, y'all. That's weird to me. I told her straight up, I said, like, I said, that's not, that's not like something I would take as a compliment though. It's just more so, I told her, I was like, we be in person and we be talking and like, it seemed like you be real into these conversations when you ask me these questions and I give you my genuine feedback just for you to sit up here and be like, like downplaying me or like doubling back on what the fuck I said and tell me it ain't this, it ain't that. But then I click on your YouTube and you're acting like me. I said, what, like, what's that about? What is that? She's talking about some, oh, I just think, like, you know, people, people are, people are, like, entitled to just think differently. You are. 
but at the same time, why why do you keep at you know what I'm saying? Like, why do you keep asking me certain shit just to give me a response of you thinking differently? If that's the case, why are you asking? Because I'm not I'm not out here talking to people like, what do you think of Christianity? And then when they tell me I'm sitting here going back and forth with them, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I get on here, say what the fuck I want to say, and then I go. I don't give a fuck about what you're saying back. <laughs> because if I did, I would leave an open discussion sticker. Fuck you, tell me. I don't give a fuck what you think. <laughs> I don't give a fuck what you think. I said what I said, and that's that. And you're not going to change my opinion or my mind about it. That's that. You know what I'm saying? Like, why ask somebody what they think of something, and then once they get to telling you, you being ignorant about it you know what i'm saying i don't like shit like that so she's sitting here like i didn't know you was taking it the wrong way if you was taking it the wrong way you should say something the first time and i said well like to be honest i wasn't really picking up on it until that night we was at the little function and i glanced over at you and you were staring at me like i fucked your daddy you know what i'm saying that bitch sent more laughing emojis she's talking about something like what's up you got beef baby if I had beef, you would know, bitch. I promise you would know. Your whole family would know because your dumb ass would be missing. Don't play with me. I said, you got beef. Dumb ass. I said, I don't have beef. I'm just genuinely concerned. <laughs> now I'm scared. Now I'm scared for my life. Like, you talking about? Because I don't know if, I, I'm, if I'm going to have to shoot a bitch tonight or not. Like, you're fucking, you're, you're scaring me. <laughs> you're scaring the hoes. Fuck you talking about? I said, no, nah. I was like, I don't have beef, but now I'm just genuinely concerned because I kind of feel as though, like, you don't like me, but you're trying to be like me. And you're trying to act like me. And it, I feel like you're trying to try on my persona for play play. Like, that's crazy to me. And I told that bitch, I started going into death. Fuck you to my, I told that bitch, I said that night we linked up for the first time at the hookah spot. I really feel like you was telling me all that shit because you learned that from me. You heard me talking about XXX. You heard me talking about Kanye. You heard me talking about skateboard, horror movies and certain types of genres of books you heard me talking about certain crystals and certain things and you heard me talking about these type of people and these type of people you heard all of that from me and then you get in person with me and spew it back out at me like i'm not familiar with this you trying me on that's crazy that's insane bitch. bro i sent that last message that bitch text back talking about something to be honest taco it is what it is i don't even know what the fuck you talking about and then that was it she blocked me I know she blocked me because I sent one more text message back and it turned green. And after that, I just, you know what I'm saying? I stopped going to them events. I stopped, she stopped following me on Instagram. I unfollowed a bitch back. I stopped seeing her on Twitter. I stopped seeing her on TikTok. I don't, I don't know where the fuck she at now. That's scary though. I don't know. I don't know. Like the bitch just like fucking went, like I've been to, I've been to like little functions and shit. And it's been the functions of the person that we all, that we had in, in mutual you know what I'm saying? But, like, I've never seen her again. I haven't seen... You know what I'm saying? So now I'm standing here like, was that a real person? <laughs> <laughs> no, no real shit. Hey, look, the universe and spirit will, like, give your ass... Fuck, come on, camera. The universe and spirit will give your ass tests just to see if you pass it. But not real shit. Now I'm sitting here like, was, was that a real fucking person? <laughs> was it a real person or was, like, a, a fucking dementor? Fuck I don't know. It, it was just fucking... That was, like, a terrifying experience because, like... I, I kind of feel like if, if the friendship, if it would have became a friendship and if it would have got deeper and if we would have got more involved with each other, what what exactly would she have done with me or to me? You know what I'm saying? I think about shit like that. I don't know if y'all think about shit like that. I think I think that deep into shit, like even relationships, even when I'm dating like certain women, I be thinking like, like what, where do you see this going in the next like fuck you talking about fuck a five years where do you see us at in the next two years fuck you talking about like i be one i be wanting to know people intentions because you're not gonna come around me and be fucking weird you're not gonna come around me and be an energy vampire or feed off of my fucking energy or feed off my fucking personality and then take it and flip it like it's been yours and you now you capitalizing off of it fuck no because bitch me being a woman that i am and being a way that i am i get bullied on a daily basis but i don't give a fuck because i'm getting paid for it you know what i'm saying you're not gonna come and try and learn what type of person I am and see what it is about me that's attracting so many people. But on top of that, at the same time, you shitting on me and telling me like, girl, I should have a YouTube like yours. I should be on YouTube like you. I be making the same type of jokes. I be saying this. I be doing this. I be out doing all that. I would have more content than yours. I wouldn't just do story times. I would be out showing my day to day. Okay, so do that fuck you talking about bitch that worked for you this worked for me fuck you talking about all i do is stand up here and literally talk and <laughs> i'm talking about checks going crazy 
if you think you can do better, you do better. But you don't have to come and shit on me because you see so many people interacting with me and loving me as a fucking person. And then you come in and you trying to, you know what I'm saying? You trying to get the secret sauce, bitch. You trying to get the ravioli, ravioli. What's the formioli? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, you trying to come and get the fucking recipe. But at the same time, you trying to get the recipe. You also shit on me at the same time. That's crazy. That's crazy to me. That's insane. That's weird. So like once, once everything kind of came to an end, I was just kind of thinking like, what the fuck? What was she going to do? You know what I'm saying? Like, like y'all have seen... Not even not even just speaking about movies in general, but even in real life, you've seen situations where like there have been friendships that ended in murder, suicide or just murder completely because like one friend was overly obsessed or just overly infatuated with the other friend. Like you've seen this in movies, you've seen this on the news where like people become obsessed with somebody else because they see the way that they light up a room when they walk into it or they see the way that people flock to them when they get around other people or they see the way people love them the way people interact with them and they want that for themselves y'all seen movies like that or even like you've seen shit where like people try and literally become another person like they try and take their identity like what was that one well, y'all see y'all ever seen the roommate y'all ever seen a roommate and the bitch had like a tattoo of her dead sister's name the roommate went and got that exact tattoo with her People are fucking crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I made this post on my story the other day and I was like, I was, I'm one of those people. I believe like there's truth in almost every movie because if there's not, who the fuck would even sit and think and come up with some sick shit like that? You know what I'm saying? So like, I don't know, like when the whole situation ended, I was just more so just thinking like, I feel like I honestly dodged a bullet because bitch, how far were you willing to go to literally be me? You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and I know I sit up here all day and I joke and I'm like, I'm not Michael Jackson. I'm not Beyonce. But to some people, I am. Some people sit here and people watch me and be like, oh, my God. Oh my. You know what I'm saying? Like overly obsessed. And even you watching this, I promise you there's somebody out there who's probably like on dick. You know what I'm saying? And like not even as something like not like you should look at that and be like, yeah, these hoes on my dick. These folks love me because nah you know what i'm saying people are crazy people would do the most just to get to know you and that's why i said earlier in the story time word a little dirt i don't like no bitch that's no fan of me <laughs> i i don't i don't want to run into no bitches she oh my god i'm your biggest fan i'll be watching you uh-uh uh-uh crazy because there ain't no telling what the fuck you will do the moral of the story the moral of the story always be yourself regardless of what the fuck people make you feel like be yourself regardless of like people talking shit about you or trying to down talk, down talk or down play what you got going on. Always be yourself because there's somebody out there that's looking up to you that think you're the coolest fucking person. Or even if it's not somebody that's looking up to you, imagine whatever age you are now, imagine 10 year old you, you know what I'm saying? So 10 year old me, I'm doing this with 10 year old me and 10 year old me right now, she think I'm the coolest bitch in the fucking world. So period, you know what I'm saying? Um, another moral of this story, be aware of your surroundings and be aware of the people you have around you because I promise you your biggest fan can be your biggest hater like whoever grandmama that is that keep commenting on my shit burnt bitch <laughs> ragged ass bitch you like a fucking uh, a burnt penguin keep your ass off my shit weird ho um always just be aware <laughs> always just be aware of your surroundings because people are strange people are crazy people are very people have obsessive fucking personalities little do they know like that old ass lady she don't know but she's obsessed with me that's 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 a that's a perfect example People will not like you, but still like you. That's fucking fan behavior. That's obsessive behavior. That's crazy. You don't like somebody and you you don't agree with what they're doing. You don't agree with them as a person, but you're obsessed with them. You won't you won't stop watching them. You won't stop keeping up with them. That's obsessive as fuck. That's crazy. People like that, them be the people who kidnap people and kill people just because. You know what I'm saying? No motive or no nothing. Just because. You know what I'm saying? Um, last moral of this story. No matter whom or what you believe in, no matter what you believe in, I don't give a fuck if you're a Christian, I don't give a fuck if you're an atheist, if you're spiritual, if you're a fucking Hindu, a Jew, whatever you practice, whatever you believe in, keep strong spiritual protection behind you. Keep it because people are crazy. And like I said, people send an evil eye. A lot of people are powerful and they don't know that they're powerful. A lot of people can sit and stalk your page all day and literally scroll on your page and be envious as fuck. And be sending evil eye and won't even be aware. You know what I'm saying? And next thing you know, you got all this shit happening in your life because you got haters watching you. So, you know, whatever you believe in, just stay a hundred on it. And, you know what I'm saying? Stay ten souls down on whatever the fuck you believe in. That's the last moral. Stop trying to meet people on the internet because you don't know these people. Sometimes it's just a fucking act. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
yeah all right y'all i gotta go bye <laughs>